Hello, small saints. The Sunday that we are going to talk about today is the fifth Sunday in Lent. The sixth Sunday in Lent, which will be the following week, is actually Palm Sunday. So we are almost through the season already. And our reading today actually comes from John's Gospel after that entrance into Jerusalem with the palms waving and the people shouting Hosanna. This is after that happened. So keep that in mind as I read you this passage from the 12th chapter of John. People from all over had gathered in Jerusalem for a festival. Some Greek people came up to Philip, one of Jesus' disciples, and said, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. So Philip and his brother Andrew went to tell Jesus there were people to see him. Jesus said, I think my time to be glorified has finally come. You know, one grain of wheat is just one grain of wheat unless you bury it in the ground. Just when you think it's dead, it starts to grow when you have more and more wheat. That's how it is with your life. If you cling so closely to the life you know, you're going to lose it. But those who are ready to turn away from their life to follow me will have a life that is eternal. If you want to follow me, serve me wherever you find me. God will honor you. Jesus continued, my soul is agitated. Do I dare say, Father, don't make me go through with this? Save me? No, I won't do that. This is my purpose. Father, let me bring only glory to your name. All of a sudden, a voice from heaven said, I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd couldn't believe what they just heard. It must have been thunder, somebody said. No, I think it was an angel talking to him, somebody else said. Jesus told them, that voice was for your benefit, not mine. This will be a turning point for this world. When I am lifted up high above the earth, I will gather all people everywhere to myself. He said this because he knew he was about to die on the cross. This is the gospel of our Savior. So every year in the time of Jesus, Jews were required to go to Jerusalem for certain festivals, one of them being Passover, which celebrated the freedom of the people from slavery in Egypt. And so it was for the Passover festival that Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem, and these Greek-speaking people who came up to Philip and said, sir, we would like to see Jesus, they were in town for the festival too. And so Jerusalem was really crowded at this point, and Jesus coming into the city with a crowd of people around him shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, it probably drew some attention. And so these people, these pilgrims from out of town said, sir, we wish to see Jesus. It's one of my favorite lines in all of the Bible because if someone comes to me and says, Pastor Elaine, I wish to see Jesus, what would I show them? Would I show them the church? I'm in my office here in the Muller room right now. Would I show them the church? Or would I show them what it looks like to serve Jesus in this world and everybody that I meet? Would I take them to the Hoboken shelter and say, Jesus is all of these people? Or would I take them to your school and say, Jesus is all of these people? Because Jesus is, we are all part of the body of Christ, we call it. And so we all represent, we all are, we bear the image of God. We bear the image of Jesus. So if somebody wants to see Jesus, you point to just about anyone, because Jesus says, I am with you all, I am in you all, just as the Father is in me, so I am in you, he says in another place. And at the end of this gospel, when, he, when Jesus says, when I am lifted up, meaning when he's placed on the cross, I will draw all people to me. That's no exceptions. It it doesn't mean someone that you think may not deserve to be brought to Jesus. It doesn't mean someone who 
doesn't ask for forgiveness or doesn't say I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. Jesus is going to draw all people to Jesus, to, to God's very self, and say, I created you, I love you, you are mine. So I think if someone comes to you and says, I wish to see Jesus, all you have to do is say, look in the mirror, because that is where Jesus is. Let's have a prayer together. God, we thank you for sending Jesus to be among us. We thank you for creating us in your image, just as Jesus is created in your image. Help us to show people who Jesus is and what Jesus' love is all about. We give thanks to you in that holy name. Amen. Well, I'm thinking of all of you. I miss you terribly, and I hope that you're well. Look forward to seeing you sometime. And next week, we're going to talk a bit about something that happened before our reading today, which is Jesus going into the city for the Passover. <laughs>